Saturday morning. Uh, not so sure about the weather today. It's a bit blur, but let's hope today doesn't turn out to be a bit blur. Let's hope we have a lovely, lovely Saturday. Not that I've got anything planned and I'm still kind of playing nurse to my hubby and Ruby, although Ruby did wash her hair and stuff last night, so I think she's feeling a bit better, but my hubby's still a bit blur. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, right, so I've just done my makeup. I've mixed my true colour again with my serum foundation. Got all my favourites on, including my magic primer love it so much um and obviously my serum which everybody loves this it's wonderful youth in a bottle it's wonderful right so calendar of the day you're getting up again hello everybody right so let's hope it's a good one because the saturday one is for two days so we've got saturday and sunday it's so bloody dark this one i can hardly see there is always time for gratitude and new beginnings. Well, isn't that true? You can always change things if you're not happy. Just try and do something a little bit different and, you know, make your own happiness in life. It's hard sometimes, I know it is, but try and be grateful for little things. So, happy Saturday, everybody. Let's hope we're going to have a really good one. Oh, start the morning as you mean to go on. Second cup of tea in my mug of the day and some bacon in the oven and an egg in the pan. Ooh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my breakfast. So you're supposed to have a third of your plate with speed food, which is like tomatoes and mushrooms and stuff. So I've done my tomatoes. I've got one wholemeal brown roll, which is my little bee box of the day. The bacon is one and a half points each, and I've cut all the fat off it, and I've got two slices of bacon, so that's three sins. And then my egg's free. Off to enjoy it. Ooh, my dinner, not dinner, my breakfast was delicious. See you feel it, little Winifred. <laughs> Let the boring jobs begin. Cute fairy bottle, boring jobs. Hmm, next boring jobs. It's all right for you sitting there looking pretty. <laughs> so next boring jobs, sort out my washing, which is hopefully all dry under here. And finally managed to half make my bed. So I've not made it properly uh, like I normally do with all my cushions and stuff. So I've just chucked the cushions on there. But at least my bedroom looks a little bit normal with nobody in the bed at 11 o'clock. Uh, right, so I've been reading this and it's so good. I can't put it down. When I start reading at night, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, sometimes books take me quite a long time to read, but then sometimes when they're really good, I can't put them down. Definitely recommend this so far. Hope it has a good ending. Love it so much. It's so good. Washing machine's on. I've actually only got two loads of washing, so it's not too bad. And here I am. Look at my fancy outfit. So I've got on my gorgeous tank top. It's like a banana. It? It's like I've got three bananas on me. Um, so I've got this lovely tank top, white shirt underneath, a thermal top underneath that, and another vest top underneath that. So to be able to wear something with no sleeves, you have to wear about four layers underneath it. I'm sick of being cold. <laughs> and that's me just being grumpy. Right, I'm hoping you can see this. So I'm just about to empty my dehumidifier that I had on last night. Look at all this water. Look at this. This is unbelievable. So if you're thinking about getting a dehumidifier, get one. Look how much water that has poured out. So I had it in my hallway for probably a couple of hours. Look at all that. That's unbelievable. Where's it all come from? It's so strange. So anyway, I'm going to put it on again. Any water you can get out, the better. Right, so here it is. Let's switch it on. So they're a little bit noisy. Um, and they do blow out air out of here. Um, which sometimes the air feels warm. It's very odd. Um, and then that's like the climate thing. And that changes on the top of it. And it has got a handle so you can move it. But they're very heavy. But it just stops, you know, like condensation on your windows. And obviously, if you try and dry some washing and stuff, it all helps. So it just sucks the moisture out of the air. But I did read somewhere that you shouldn't sit in the room with it. Otherwise, it will suck all the moisture out of your skin. <laughs> mm. And that's the outside today, ladies and gentlemen. It's very gloomy. Look. Well, he must be feeling a bit better. Because he's got his leaf blower out, which is a very good sign. Ooh, right, dinner, deja vu. So I just finished off what we had yesterday. So I've got the rest of my soup, which is four and a half sins. And then it's accompanied by all this free food. So we've got lettuce, tomatoes, a little bit of ham and 
some seafood steaks and that's all free on Slimmerwood. Off to enjoy it. Alright, take me in my hobby a drink. I've got to that point now where I'm fed up. I'm sick of playing this. I've had enough. <laughs> right, I'm sat in my chair. It's half past two. You cannot even begin to explain how dark it is. It's like night time. So we're sat in our sitting room. It's me, me and Ruby. Um, and it's half past two and it's, it looks like it's night time. It's so dark in here. So to be a bit more cheerful, we decided we're going to pick a winner. Woo! For our charity shop giveaway. Um, so in a minute, we're going to get some scissors, chop everybody's names up. We've got them all written down. There's like probably about three pages um, of names. So we're going to chop them up put them in a hat and pick a winner out. It's very exciting, it's very old fashioned, there's no technical stuff involved. It's just us, a pair of scissors, names, um, and a hat, or bucket, or whatever we can find. Ooh, good old fashioned giveaway. So we're just chopping all the names up, they're going in my little sand pot. Ooh, it's a bit chilly, isn't it, Nolly? It's gone really cold as well. Ooh. Right, so for extra entries into our competition, <laughs> Um, we asked you to send a photo, which some people did, so that's amazing. So, are you ready for everyone's church shop bargains? So, the first one we've got was lovely Abby. She got a pair of amazing Ugg boots, absolutely brilliant. We've got, uh, hang on, I have to write this down. Kaz Faith got a little Marlborough handbag. How amazing was that? And then we've got lovely Jill Woolley, who got a lovely jacket that she wore uh to her son's wedding which is absolutely amazing and wonderful we've got lovely where are you lovely leanne she got a beautiful beautiful dress and she's got avon makeup on fabulous leanne and then her children she got all her halloween outfits for them from cho shop look how cute they are her beautiful family oh so adorable and then we've got lovely fashion hun in London. She got the top and the skirt. How amazing is that? What a great chair shop find. And then we've got lovely Sarah, who got this gorgeous jumper. In fact, Sarah, I think I've also got that jumper. And she got that jumper as well. Absolutely amazing. Right, are we ready? We've got the pot. <laughs> Are you going to pick a winner, Ruby? Sure. Do, 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 do. This is very exciting. Right, you look very excited, don't you? <laughs> do you look excited? Yay! So exciting. It's brightened up the Saturday afternoon. Right, are you ready, Ruby? Mm -hmm. Pressure's on, dear. <laughs> okay, so the first name out of the hat will win. La, 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 la. <sighs> You win a £20 charity shop gift card. You should get some right good stuff for £20. And it lasts for two years, so you don't have to spend it straight away. I can't work. Right, go on then. Are we ready? What is the name? Charlotte Potter. Charlotte Potter. <laughs> You've won! You've won a £20 gift card for the charity shop. Woohoo! Oh, that's so wonderful. So congratulations, Charlotte. Yay! <laughs> and I forgot to say, Charlotte, all you've got to do is email me your address and I will post a gift card to you. Right, I'm so annoyed because I thought, oh, I'll have a go at crocheting. Now I've got an hour where I haven't got to do anything and I can't find my crochet hooks. I found two in my drawer. One's like a little plastic thing, which I think would be no good. And then this is quite a big fat one, but I don't want a big fat one. And I can't think where my others can be. Oh, do you know how annoying that is when you've got five minutes peace and you think, well, I'll do this. But I can't do that because I can't find my hook. I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> Ooh wee, where's your crochet hooks? Where have you put your crochet hooks? Well, I found two. So I've actually got four now. I think this one might be useful. It says made in England, which is always a good sign. Uh, so I'm going to find a bit of wool, see if we can achieve anything. Ooh, how to make your brain hurt on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> so I've achieved a bit of something, but I'm really not so sure what I'm supposed to do next. So I've done the first little bit and then I've tried to do the next little bit and I just don't understand it. Maybe I need to watch a YouTube tutorial instead. I have no words. Mm, 
I don't think I'm very good at crocheting. <laughs> I think I need some practice and I'm not really sure what's gone wrong. Uh, yeah, perhaps I need to try a different hook. This hook's not the best hook in the world, I don't think. Ooh. Right, so the doorbell's just gone. We thought it was the postman, but no, it's not the postman. It's the man down the street, on the opposite street, that's got the same house number as us. And the postman had delivered him all our mail. So he said when he got home, all our mail was his house. And last week, we had his mail. It's really not good enough. So Monday morning, we were ringing up and complaining. <sighs> right, so we've now got to quarter past five. The crocheting thing has done my head in. <laughs> do it i don't know if it's because i've got the wrong crochet hook i feel like my crochet hook's not right and i feel like my wool's not the right sort of wool i don't i think maybe it's too fluffy or too thick so i think that's making it harder for me to like wrap it around I and mean, my brain just won't like work i've got a huge respect to anyone that can crochet i'm bloody useless anyway so we've now got to tea time so tonight we're having a slimmy wheeled meal. So we're having slimmy wheeled uh, meatballs and pasta with spicy tomato sauce. It takes 12 minutes in the microwave, so that's quite a long time for two. So that'll be 24 minutes before my tea's ready. Uh, but obviously all we've got to do is put it in the microwave. Very easy. Ooh, and that is my tea. So what I've done, obviously you get two A boxes on Slimming World. So the first A box I use for my skimmed milk. The second A box I've used for my cheese. So I've got some low fat cheese I sprinkled over the top. So this is it. I did lick the spoon and it was rather spicy. So this may blow me away, but it'll keep me warm. So I'll let you know what it tastes like after. This whole meal is free on Swimming World. Right, ladies and gentlemen, my tea was actually really nice. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, we both really liked it. I'd probably give it an eight, maybe eight or a nine out of 10. So it's worth trying. So I've been carrying on with my little crochet. I've done a tiny, tiny bit more. It's taken me hours to learn to do this. My brain hurts, but we've done a tiny, tiny bit. Ah, feeding time at the zoo. Florence doesn't like my floor, so she always has to stand on something else while she eats or drinks. It's just bizarre. Very strange little doggy, aren't you? Hey, are you weird? <laughs> You're a bit like me, aren't you? We're weirdos together, Florence. Ooh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is me pudding for later. So later on tonight, I will nibble on my little bowl of fruit and a muddle light yogurt. So the muddle light yogurt is half a sin. So we've not done too bad on sins today. So we've near enough finished another day on Slimmer World. Saturday nights is where I really, really struggle. So it's where I want to like eat loads of crisps and drink wine and stuff, but trying to be good so that I can eat lots over Christmas. So if I can just be good for a few more weeks, it'll be worth it. So Jamie tonight, no crisps and chocolate and sweets. Right, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. This has probably been the most boring day ever. I feel like it's been the most boring day ever because I've not even stepped out the door. Well, I've been to the bin. That's as far as I've been all day. So what a very, very strange, wet, gloomy day. It's been just odd. Like my husband's been here, my husband's never here. So it's just all been very strange, but I really hope that I can crack this crochet in. I love to learn something new and I think it does your brain good to try and do something new rather than just sitting and staring at the internet all the time. So maybe I've made some of my grey matter work. <laughs> so anyway, many thanks for joining me. Congratulations to my chair shot winner. Woo! So shall we do another chair shot giveaway? Would you like that? Or would you prefer something where I could send it to anybody? Because obviously I can't, the chair shot ones are only in the UK, but the other ones I can send anywhere in the world. So let me know what you think. What would you like to see for my next little giveaway? So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is Three Fluffles. My website is down below, and my little Avon shop is also down below. So I love you and leave you. I will see you tomorrow. Please take care. Bye.